Hi, I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET UK, and I'm here with the massive Asus NX90. Okay, let's get this out of the way early on, because frankly, it's a bit of a shock. You might want to pour yourself a stiff drink and change into the brownest of your brown trousers. This laptop costs £2,300. £2,300. If you haven't just turned inside out at that news, then you're probably wondering where that price tag comes from. Well, it's made in partnership with audio gurus Bang & Olufsen, so a good chunk of your cash is being spent on design. There's two things you'll immediately notice about the NX90. Firstly, it's wrapped in a highly reflective metal shell that's just perfect for fixing your hair in a hurry or using it to attract the attention of passing boats if you're stuck on a desert island with it. Second thing you'll notice is that it's massive. At a whopping 53 centimetres wide, you're going to have to find a sturdy suitcase if you want to take it anywhere. Ideally one with wheels to help you with its 4.4 kilogram weight. It's really not a laptop designed for travel, but would rather be sat looking all big and shiny in a cold, minimalist living room, playing your movies and TV shows. Thankfully then, it's got a huge 18.4 inch screen with a full HD resolution, as well as a Blu-ray drive, so whatever you watch on it will look pretty awesome. On the sides of the screen are two huge speakers provided by Bang & Olufsen. They do a great job of dealing with mid and high end tones, which you'll appreciate if you listen to a lot of classical and acoustic music. Sadly, they don't handle the bass quite so well, nor do they achieve the sort of volumes that could shake your skull clean out of your head, which is a shame. Rather than go for a normal trackpad like everyone else, Asus has decided to take it out, snap it in half, and slap two smaller trackpads on either side of the keyboard. Good luck getting used to their new position. We spent hours typing on this thing, and we continually tried scrolling around where there just wasn't anything to scroll on, which just got annoying. Under the shiny hood, you'll find a 1.73 GHz Intel Core i7 processor teamed up with 6 GB of RAM, which helped the NX90 achieve some decent results in our benchmark tests. Decent, but not great. We really were expecting so much more for the mind-blowing price tag. If it's not going to be a total powerhouse of a machine then, the NX90 is probably better off viewed as some kind of artistic installation. But really, if you want art in your house, then just buy art. Don't buy a laptop that's pretending to be art. The NX90 is a wide laptop with a shiny case and some decent specs. If that warrants a 2300 quid investment for you, then great, but you'd be much better off spending hundreds of pounds less on an equally powerful machine and buying a £5 mirror to go with it. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET UK, and I'm here with the Asus NX.